the beginning of this new year, a moment of clarity came to me that these next 12 months, I'd be spending a lot of time hugging my inner child. I have been holding on to an insecurity I bought and packaged as a child. And now it is past time for me to let it go and to hug it out. Hear me explore self-parenting and the disaster zone that has been my 20s while sharing music, books, real life experiences, and shedding light on all of the things they didn't tell us. My name is Michaela, and this is my mind's playground. In this episode, we talk about what they don't tell you about your value. I'd spent the majority of my younger friendships convincing people with my actions of my worth. I would channel my inner Sherlock Holmes and use deductions to travel 90% of the way, lay out the red carpet treatment, and explain why I was worth having around. And it worked. In fact, my longest friendships started this way. Started with my proving and convincing that I was worthy. After taking inventory on who was around and who wasn't, I noted that those friendships that originated in my reiterating actions of my value, were no longer a part of my life. It was a well-integrated lesson in my life that I've only just now reached the closure of. I shouldn't have to prove to people how wonderful I am. At least not to the people in my personal life. Because, as I would discover, it creates an imbalance that a friendship, no matter the longevity, can't come back from. Not my friends or my curated family. In fact, the ones that are left only exist because I didn't have to work and prove to them. For me... It was based in insecurity, leaning on the pillar of a societal social hierarchy, knowing that what I offered on a surface level wasn't enough to convince people to keep me around. Because I didn't believe it was enough. And I knew that if I couldn't be what people wanted, Immediately, I could become what they needed. And that I learned very quickly. Gives a relationship longevity. Because wants are fickle. But everyone gets hungry. So I put in the work. And I hustled to have the community that I wanted. But that's what they don't tell you about your value. The curated family I've acquired, I didn't have to convince those relationships. They grew and became more and moved and evolved organically. 50, 50. They don't tell you that you don't have to prove your worth to earn the attention of your tribe. More letters to my younger self. 
you don't have to prove your worth to earn the attention of your tribe. You don't have to prove your worth to earn the attention of your tribe. Because if they don't already know, then they can eat rocks. What lessons have you learned about yourself from previous relationships? Hearing how people survive and push themselves is something I enjoy. So let's continue to create a safe space and community and share. You can share your thoughts and ideas at My Minds Playground on Instagram or by leaving a voice message at the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe wherever you're listening from. I'm Michaela, and you've been on The Playground. <laughs>